So, uh, yesterday, uh, Shane was at the auction, and he purchased a 2003 Dodge Sprinter van. Uh, I, I really like these vans. I like Sprinter vans. I've made good, good money on them all along. Uh, but anyway, that's the point. I think that, that Shane uh, has seen us do well on these Sprinter vans. But the purpose of this video is to let you know to um, build a rapport with your ring man at the auction. Uh, because this particular uh, ring man, uh, we know him well. Uh, good guy. We enjoy working with him. We're, uh, we're always in his lane a lot. Um, so, um, yesterday Shane brought this, uh, Sprinter van and, uh, after the bidding was over, Shane had top bid, but the ring man came over to Shane and he says, Hey, I, I, I upped your bid by 50 bucks on this, um, this van. Uh, the winning bid on this 03 Dodge Sprinter van was $3,000. Now, and Shane's standing there, and of course the ring man says, well, I put you in at 3050 instead of $3,000. Now, he did this without Shane's consent, um, and then he proceeded to tell him. He says, because, uh, you know, that car uh, needed to fall under arbitration, uh, it, because of the simple fact that $3,000 and under uh, does not have any arbitration at all. So the ring man took it upon himself uh, to put Shane in at $3,050 so the car would fall under arbitration. Uh, Shane noticed that in the lane, for some reason, there was just something funny about the, the van coming through. Didn't know what, but he continued to bid on it. And so... Um, uh, anyway, like I said, there was just something, uh, long story short is it did get arbitrated. The 3000 the $50, um, bid that the ring man had put in for Shane, uh, is what saved Shane's ass, uh, because Shane did go out and he got in the van, uh, to move the van and it, it missed at first and then just finally died. Uh, and would not restart. And so um, with that measure, that's one thing that you always want to do when you're buying a car at the auction. Don't wait to pick that car up or to check that car out because you've got to arbitrate that car um, that very day at the auction or you lose your arbitration uh, privileges. So you want to make sure that you're checking that car out uh, when you buy it, if you're going to arbitrate it, you need to arbitrate it that day. Make sure that it's within arbitration rules. And that's exactly what the ring man had done for Shane. He protected him, it wound up giving $50 more for the car, but he had arbitration rights. And we did arbitrate the van, and needless to say, um, it was found in our favor. Uh, and I want to thank that ring man that did that for Shane. We've had it happen more than once, uh, especially. So uh, in our auction, and you want to check with your auctions um, in, in your area to see what their arbitration rules are. And if you're close to arbitration, uh, make sure that you put even that 50 bucks can save your ass. Uh, you know, like ours, $3,000 and under, as is, no arbitration rights at all. $3,000 and over, or 3000 uh, anything over $3,000 has arbitration rights. So make sure that you know what your arbitration policies are at that particular auction. Now they vary, so you've got to do that. There's no way that I can hand you um, the arbitration laws or rules on every auction across the United States. You need to do that. You've got local auctions in your area. Check those arbitration rules. Know them well. Build a rapport with your ring men out there that, uh, and tell them, look, if you're close to arbitration, put you over. You're going to want that if you're in 
uh, buying cars, have a good relationship with the ring man, and understand your arbitration rules. Have a great day. Please subscribe, like this channel if you find this information useful. Thanks.